Hello my loves, it's Friday and it is the start of a new reading vlog, weekend vlog extravaganza. And today is really exciting because one, the new Animal Crossing update is live and I've been playing it. I actually streamed yesterday and played it for the first time which to be honest was like a little bit uh, of a letdown because I restarted my island a while back like before the update was even announced. I don't even have like resident services. I don't have the art exhibit expansion in the museum so I don't really have access to any of the new updates yet but I'm still trying to like make myself not like race in order to get them because that's kind of what I did when the game originally came out and I ended up just burning out in it really quickly until I get KK. I'm trying not to time travel and stuff. I'm also really excited because my book of the month box just came in and I'm working with book of, Mo book of the month again for this video and I was going through it and I'm so intrigued for this book. This is called The Keeper of Night by Kylie Lee Baker and the cover stunning. I had never heard of it before and it follows a half British Reaper, half Japanese Shinigami. I'm really excited for a story that like sort of explores what it means to be mixed race and especially like in a fantasy world. Even this like one part of the summary, when her failure to control her developing Shinigami abilities drives Ren out of London, she flees to Japan in search of the acceptance she's never gotten from her fellow reapers. Ren enters Yomi, the Japanese underworld, to serve the goddess of death, only to learn that here too she must prove herself worthy. So yeah, I just, I'm really excited for this. I feel like it's going to really explore a lot of like the mis- or displacement that you feel as like a mixed race person and also just as like a diaspora who you know whose family is from obviously from an Asian country but you live in a Western country like there is a sort of feeling of displacement there and I'm really hopeful that this book will explore that in a fantasy setting. Yeah, that's what I love about Book of the Month is there this like fast growing and popular online book service for readers and they vet hundreds of books each month in order to find you know those sort of like needle in the haystack so that then you as a reader can spend more time reading and less time researching. And if there happens to be a month where you see the selection of books and none really call to you it's super easy to just skip that month without being charged. Plus they have the best price for new release hardcover fiction and you can get your first book for just $9.99 with my code which is Monica and here are the other books this one is by Emily Radikajowski and it's called my body it is a profoundly personal exploration of feminism sexuality and power of men's treatment of women and women's rationalizations for accepting that treatment that sounds phenomenal this cover is stunning but yeah this is will by will smith with mark manson if you love will smith which like who doesn't love will smith um and then we have a little hope by Ethan Joella. This one definitely sounds great for like people who like sort of domestic fiction, literary fiction. Then we have How to Marry Keanu Reeves in 90 Days. This one is a obviously romance. Um, Dear Keanu, you don't know me, but I'm about to ruin your wedding. The Collective by Allison Galen. If you like thrillers, that one sounds like a good one. And then the last book is in this book of the month box, and it is The Family. And this one sounds like a historical family drama. I'm actually the last like line of the synopsis has a very intrigued it says the family is a sweeping saga that offers a fresh take on old new york the american dream and what it means to inherit the wounds of past generations these are the book of the month selections for the month of november if you'd like to check these out once again i will have them linked down below so you can check them out there and you can use my code monica to get your first book for 9.99 with that being said i am going to finish getting ready i'm about to head out to go meet up with my friend nikki it's actually our first time meeting in person so i'm very excited and we're going to build a bear to check out the animal crossing build a bear collection which has been out for a while but i've never like allowed myself to look at it before so i'm excited to do that i am not sure if i'm gonna get isabel or tom nook i'm kind of leaning towards tom nook just because i think he looks so silly um like i love his like droopy eyes and everything so i'm leaning towards tom nook but we'll see i definitely know i want their winter outfits whichever one i get also here is a quick little outfit of the day i am wearing this gingham dress that i've had for a while and I've layered it over just this long sleeve top and then I put a sweater vest on top because it is, we are finally in chilly weather season fully. 
which I'm a little distraught about, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and then I have some white tights and these uh, Mary Janes from Koi Footwear. Also, I finally got a rug for my bedroom. It is a mess. I have to do some cleaning, but, <laughs> but I'm very excited about my new rug. I think the Happy Home expansion just downloaded. I have a little box from Nintendo in my Animal Crossing game. I just got it in the mail. I'm trying to like stabilize you. Let's see what's in it. It's the pla Paradise Planning Photo. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's all my friends who are gonna be at the Happy Home Paradise or whatever it's called. All right, well, I don't need that right now. It's just the photo. I wonder how I get there now that I, because I, I bought the expansion or the DLC. So yeah, I don't know how you get there from here yet. This is what my one bedroom house looks like. I'm trying not to like race to expand my house just because like I found that really overwhelming in my first game um, to have to like decorate that many houses at once. So I'm gonna try not to do that. Who did I invite? I invited Maggie and Felicity. Those are the two. And I also invited Eric, and I think Eric is all moved in. Let's see his house. It's his starter home, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, Harv! <gasps> Harv's here! <laughs> So I played a little bit of Animal Crossing just now, but I'm gonna go ahead and head out because I'm supposed to meet Nikki at three and it's a little bit after two right now. I've actually never like gone to Build-A-Bear. When I was in high school, I worked at what was like basically a Build-A-Bear knockoff. So I'm really excited to like finally go experience the <laughs> real thing. So yeah, excited to bring you along with me. Also, I'm currently still reading The Devil in the Dark Water. If you watched my last vlog, I was reading this then, about halfway through. I don't know why this book is taking me like a decade to get through. I really like it and I find it really engaging and fun. But yeah, it's just taking me forever. Uh, so I think I'm gonna get the audiobook so that I can like, hopefully that'll like push me to like get further through it faster because I have a lot of reading plans for the end of the year. <laughs> And it cannot be reading this book for another month. Okay, I found Nikki! Yay! The camera has stickers! It oh does! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just spent like 10 minutes walking around the store trying to decide who to get. And I think I've decided on Tom, who looks absurd. <laughs> but yes, he is the one. <laughs> Tom. I feel like you should. <laughs> Hello! So I'm here with Nikki and I have Mr. Tom Nook. I posted an Instagram poll asking everyone if they thought I should make Isabel or Tom Nook and apparently everyone are Tom is Tom Nook haters. Poor Tom. <laughs> no one voted for Tom. So then I had to get him because I was sad. <laughs> but I love him. And now we are at the Bryant Park Christmas. What is this? Market. Village. Winter. Winter Village. Winter Village. Winter Village. <laughs> which is lovely. We're gonna get a little snack, which I'm excited for. ate dinner and just kind of honestly sat in silence for a little while sometimes I just have to do that after socializing I feel like I have to just like ah, free my mind I don't know um anyways I thought I'd do a quick little haul because I picked up some things while I was out and about and also got some things in the mail so obviously first and foremost Mr. Tom Nook I just think he's so 
cute. I wasn't sure at first if I should get Tom Nook or Isabel because I mean honestly I like went in wanting Tom and then I saw Isabel and she was so cute and her outfit was so cute but I just really wanted Tom Nook and I think he's so cute. I love his like facial expression um, and I did end up getting the sounds. I just think that's so cute. Then Nikki and I went to the Christmas market, which was lovely. And the other day, I actually went to the Christmas market with Kaylee and I saw these earrings and I really, really liked them. But I was like, I wanna think about it and I'll come back. So it's been a few days and I was still wanting these earrings. So I went back for them and they're so cute. They are these pearl hoops and I just love them. I think they'll be like such a cute like everyday but like really fun kind of accessory for me. After that we went to Book Off and Book Off sells like used books and games and figurines and things and I ended up finding a copy of Everyone Knows Your Mother Is a Witch which has been on my radar for a little while now. It just sounds like a book that I would like. Um, the reviews on of it are pretty mixed but a lot of the negative reviews that I read are all sort of like buzzwords for things that kind of indicate why that I might like it like people have found it weird or really slow and I'm like well those aren't things that really bother me in books so I don't know we'll see the thing that really like sold me on this one this like blurb which says on every page of this brilliant transporting novel are sentences of surreal poetry of profound insight and enchanting observation of monty python like sublime nonsense and delightful fragments of fairy tale and lore which like that just sounds like something i would love so yeah we'll see this is like it's supposed to be about like witch trials i believe um, but it's supposed to be written in like a very modern kind of sense, even though it is historical fiction. So yeah, I don't know. I'm intrigued. Also got in the mail some prints that I ordered. I have a few different frames, so I'm going to go ahead and frame those. And my goal tomorrow is to like hang them up. And finally have some art on my walls, which I'm very excited for because my walls have been very blank for the entire time I've been here so I'm excited to not have blank walls anymore. Also I'm very pleased because I jumped up about a hundred pages in The Devil in the Dark Water. Um, yeah so very pleased about that. Finally making real progress. I'm hoping to finish that this weekend and hopefully start a new book but yeah I am really liking it still but I do think that it is kind of meandering a little bit more than I would like. I am still enjoying it and I'm intrigued to see like how this mystery is going to play out because right now they're on this ship um, to Amsterdam and all they know is that there is like some devil and he might be you know controlling people and they're trying to figure out who he's controlling and what exactly he wants so there's still like so many questions <laughs> that I need answers to. the next day and I have been busy doing a little bit of decorating finally got some art and things on the walls which I'm so excited about so I'll give you a little tour of where I'm at so far so I put a few things on the wall above my desk and I think it looks so pretty I love this mirror I've had it for ages and then of course my CD player and then a few different prints two of these are BTS and one is just a vending machine in Japan. Um, I'll link as much as I can down below in case you guys are interested. I also get lots of questions about this tulip lamp, so I'll also link that. 
but yeah I just think it looks so cute now with these um, bits on the wall I feel like it just really brought everything to life and then here is sort of another view of that wall right now so I'm very pleased with that then over here on my bookshelves I have these two prints London and Tokyo flower market also mr. Tom Nook right there and yeah I think it looks really cute the London one it is maybe slightly crooked but I don't care <laughs> it's on there with like command strips so it's such a pain to take it down and I've already taken it down a couple of times so it's fine I don't mind it that much um, and then I do want to put some stuff here but I'm not 100% sure what and then over on my kind of messy dresser I have the um, checker print Le Musée uh, print and I think it looks really nice and this space I have to keep blank because obviously it's what my projector projects onto so I tried to fill as much as I could um, as high up as I could here and I feel like that adds some really great texture to this space. I am about to head out with Kaylee. She's actually going to see like this gymnastics show tonight, um, but we are both stopping at Target beforehand. So I'm going to go head to Target. I might check out the McNally City Point location, which I'm very excited for. Um, and I guess I'll do a quick outfit of the day. Obviously, I'm wearing the earrings that I just got, which I am in love with, absolutely obsessed. Also wearing this uh, sweater vest which is actually a replica of the warm and wonderful one that Princess Diana wore back in the day, except she had the red full sweater. Um, and they came out with like sweater vests and sweaters in all different colors. So I ended up getting this green one because I found a really great promo code where it was 25% off so it like made it a lot more affordable or affordable so if you want to use that I think it's just like thank you 25 so I'll just put that put that out into the world and then this white blouse is from Target and then I have this brown tennis skirt that I've had for ages that I bought from an Etsy seller who no longer exists very sadly um, and then white tights and I have some pastel green loafers uh, I feel like I would prefer this outfit actually with black tights but they're buried under my bed and I don't feel like grabbing them so white tights it is now off we go because I was also just working um, I always say that I'm gonna like document more of that but it's also like kind of hard because I'm just sitting at a computer for like eight hours <laughs> so not exactly the most thrilling content but I am really excited because I am meeting up with my friend Elena and we are going to get Thai food and then we're gonna go see Eternals which I'm really excited about I've heard very mixed things but I'm just very excited. I love a Marvel film. I love Chloe. I 
I love interesting cinema, so hopefully it'll be that. But yeah, I'm very excited. I had a really lovely day um, the other day. I don't think I really, oh, there's Elena. Elena! Nope, she has her headphones on. <laughs> Elena and we just got out of watching Eternal. It's very loud. Just got New out of York City. <laughs> yes. We just got out of watching Eternals and we're getting some boba. This is your favorite, right? Yes. Favorite boba tea in the city. Mm -hmm. It's new, which is exciting. Um, but yeah, Eternals. I loved it. <laughs> what did Love you think? It. I loved it too. <laughs> I'm like Outrage. She's outraged at how much she loved it and how much everyone else didn't love yeah, it. Yeah, I'm very confused by the reviews of this film. So it is a few days later and I wanted to come on here and wrap up this vlog. I had so much fun over the past few days just getting to hang out with friends and read my book and I did end up finishing the Devil in the Dark Water by Stuart Turton. I think I'm gonna give it like four stars, maybe three and a half. I don't know. I haven't fully decided yet. I did overall really enjoy it and I definitely would recommend it if you're someone who likes a good whodunit, if something that's sort of like Pirates of the Caribbean meets Sherlock Holmes, if that sounds interesting to you, if that sounds fun to you, then like I definitely think this one is worth picking up. I really liked how things wrapped up. I do, I will say that it did, it, it felt a little bit longer than it needed to be. I do kind of wish it was just a little, the tiniest bit shorter or that like some of those middle parts had just felt a little bit more necessary to the overall story. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed it for the most part. Overall, I do like this one and I would recommend checking it out if it intrigues you and I'll definitely be reading more of Stuart Turton's work and I definitely want to also pick up just more mysteries in general because I love a good whodunit. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching and thank you again to Book of the Month for sponsoring this video and I'll see you all next time. Bye!